videos welcome back to the channel i'm bo and this is where i share my journey to 1 million arr the real unfiltered experience including both highs and challenges in this video i will share what september was like for my startup in this month we made 7800 us dollars while i was in costa rica i will be sharing monthly metrics explaining why September was a slow month for us and discussing changes that we've been working on to push forward. Plus, I will share my own experience and sharing what's coming up next. So, let's jump into numbers. Monthly recurring revenue in September was 5,900, which is 10% more than in previous months. One-time revenue is around 1,300, which is almost the same. We had only 18 new customers this month, which is 38% less than in August. We got 131 signups, 13% less. Website visits are also down 13% to 4,400. Conversion rates from website visit to sign-up, from sign-up to subscription, uh, almost the same 2.9 and 14 percent organic traffic is also down 20 percent across all of our articles across all of our pages as you can see it's been a slower month for us and since we didn't make any major changes we think that this dip is due to seasonality we thought that summer would be a low season for us but July was the best month ever in terms of the revenue and now seems like the fall would be a low season for us before the US tax season in January kicks off. The drop across all channels, impressions, signups reflect this seasonal trend. After chatting with my friend, I realized that it would be nice to ask our potential customers on the calls why they are making changes right now. It may give us some insights on our target audience behavior, on the decision-making process, and give us more information on seasonality and how it affects our business. Sometimes a cold splash is exactly what you need to reset and we focus and September was a cold splash for us and now we are energized to push forward what are we planning to do next month first of all executing our marketing strategy in previous videos I shared the process of how I'm creating a marketing plan and strategy for my startup and in next videos I will share exact experiment that I'm launching in Google Ads how I'm writing articles for our blog and how I'm optimizing them for search engines. So stay tuned. We also focusing on polishing our product. We want to refine our UI and UX to make experience more smooth and engaging for our users. Next month, we're also planning to launch a new product in Nevada. We're still negotiating less details, discussing how to package it, how to price it, but it would be a nice addition to our product offering. And if we will decide to launch it next month, I will also share the exact process of go to market. Next month, I also want to improve how we convert users into customers with our email marketing. So I will create new emails, maybe we'll launch some A-B tests to improve our conversion rates. Another big change for us, we are going to rent an office and hire a part-time employee to manage our mail operations. It will increase our expenses short-term, but long-term we are converting a variable cost, a fee that we are paying to another company, to a fixed cost. So long-term it will improve customer experience, our support, but also our profit margins. On a personal note, September has been transformative. I've been focusing on my body. I exercise every day. I managed my food habits. In addition, I also started to make a weekly videos, which was both challenging and rewarding. 
adding to my productive months. Costa Rica provided a perfect backdrop for this personal growth. It wasn't very social months for me, but I focused on work, on my startup, and at the same time, volcanoes, waterfalls, nature, and wildlife was a way for me to have a rest and distract myself from the work on the weekend. That said, Costa Rica is quite expensive. I checked my expenses and I spent 35% more compared to Mexico and Guatemala on groceries and restaurants. Even so, I ate out only a few times here, paying 760 US dollars for iced coffee with two espresso shots was a shock for me. I'm still trying to process it. Looking ahead, I'm very excited about Peru. I will hike a lot, including the longest hike that I've ever attempted. This hike will challenge my limits and I am happy to share this experience with you. I will continue to share my journey from Peru, both in business and travel through upcoming weekly videos. I will dive deeper into our marketing experiment, content creation process, and of course, my mountains adventure. So, don't forget to subscribe. Just as this waterfall continues to flow, so is my journey to 1 million ARR. Thanks for joining this adventure, and see you in the next video.